that scored me an insanely bright LED. And there's only four of those things in there. And uh, you guys won't believe how bright this is. And uh, I'm getting ready to install it. And I'm also going to show you how I do that. I've had a lot of questions about how I get wires in so many crazy places without them even showing. And uh, I'm going to go into that a little bit too. So first we're going to take a look at the uh, amp draws on this thing and then we'll convert it to watts which makes sense for everybody who has their solar panels and things like that. So uh, just shove that terminal in and this thing draws uh, 1.25 watts although it wasn't zero it's about uh, about one point I'm sorry 1.2 amps which is uh, about 12 watts and um, so that's not very much draw for that freaking insane thing. Turn these lights off. I don't know if you can tell how bright that is. I mean, that thing is crazy bright. So, uh, now I'm going to get the wires run and uh, we'll get it installed. And I'll also show you some of the other stuff that I have on LEDs. So, as many of you have seen, uh, I have LEDs everywhere that kind of light pathways. And uh, there's many ways of getting these things. You can get them in auto automotive parts stores. And I'll also show them to you when they're turned on. They come on automatically at night. Um, off of this thing and you can google these and get them it's called a night watchman photo switch so uh, all my lighting comes on automatically um, you know not real bright but enough to get around and uh, once everything's hooked up I'll show you that stuff so what I like to do is I like to get that sucker like right here and um, that's insulated ceiling and all that there's a lot of stuff up in there and uh, I'll show you how I make my way across there. Fortunately, on the other side of that wall is uh, the air handler and all, but it's still going to be kind of tricky to get it over here. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to be using what's called a magnipole. Um, this roller here, you roll it along the ceiling, and this little pucks here, you try to get those on the other side of the ceiling, and then you just uh, pull the string on across. And uh, these are rare earth magnets, and they are uh, crazy strong. There's a little bit of everything back here, 80 gallon water heater, you know, that goes off my geothermal heat pump. And I'm trying to get into that, uh, that joist bay that's right above there, and I got all the stuck work in the way, and I got this space here, so uh, I'm going to have to get a little creative to get that across there. So what I came up with is a uh, piece of copper pipe. I haven't tried this yet, and I'm going to stick the probe right in the end of it. And then I'm going to try to reach across there and shove it on top of that ceiling and see if I can pick it up with the, uh, the big magnet. Alright, so I shoved that piece of copper pipe. There's the bolt from the piling, so I know it's somewhere. Alright, there it is. See that thing will just hang there, so i got to pull that piece of copper pipe off the other side. And I had to shove that thing way over there too. So, where you at, where you at? There it is. All right, so I got my piece of copper pipe back. Now we'll just pull it across the ceiling. All right, so now I'm just gonna drag it right across the ceiling. I'm gonna try to stay centered because there are some metal things up here. I don't wanna take all these fishing rods down, so I'm gonna go right over them. The cool thing about this is you know you can get a wire where you want it um, before you drill the hole. Because obviously if I get it over there, so I want it right, right there is where I want to put that fixture. So I'm going to back it off a little bit, and then I'm going to drill the hole. Alright, so I know that floor joist is right there to the left of that magnet. So if I come over to where I want to drill, and it's a bit of a big bit here, but i got to get my magnet out. Alright, so now I just gotta get it over the hole. And there it is. String it on. Alright, I'm just gonna pull until I get my wire, which I tied on the other end. Come on, baby. There she is. And then uh, hook that to my light. And, um, so, for this really fine wire, we're gonna use these. Uh, these pink uh, butt connectors. There's the other. And we'll make our connections. 
So now all I got to do is hook it to the ceiling and put some screws in it. Alright, so I made my connections and now it's just time to uh, screw it to the ceiling. Got some FUBAR protocol music playing while I do this. I think this is from his era. So there you go. What's up? Now we just gotta wait for the sun to go down and uh, see how much light we got in here. So LEDs are uh, something that works really well for the smaller systems. And uh, there's nothing wrong with having a smaller system. I started out small. You know, it's just one of the things that keep on growing. And, uh, you know, it looks dark in here, but this is a nice amount of light. I can almost read. So, you know, this is just a good example for you guys. And I know none of this stuff looks bright, but uh, I have no problem using the steps. Uh, you know, it's, it's good accent lighting or task lighting or egress. Or I don't know what they call it. But anyway, that thing is insane bright. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. I think I might add a cover to it or something, try to diffuse some of that lighting. And uh, also, those are all on the same photo switch. So this is all 12 volts. So this is, you know, this is good stuff for a small system, especially, you know, long-term power outage. You got some lighting and uh, that's good stuff. And by my calculations, this single 100 watt panel uh, pointed in the right direction. Um, We'll take care of all that lighting. Uh, it comes on every night, goes off every morning, and uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And remember, there's a lot more uses for a 12 volt system than there are for something like a 24 volt system. Because uh, they make a million different little chargers for your iPods, for your radios, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, and plus, the lighting is so available. So, uh, you guys go check out eBay. Uh, your local auto parts store for your LEDs. Uh, you can do a lot with a small system, that's for sure. So like I said earlier, uh, these all come on with a photo switch and uh, you know mainly it's just for getting around. Um, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to build anything under these lights. I put this diffuser on there, it's much, 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 much better. Um, just, uh, just some nice lighting and uh, can, uh, get around and, uh, and some of them are bright enough you can you know do a little bit of work under them but they use almost nothing so uh, anybody with the Harbor Freight systems things like that uh, look into your LED lights uh, they're available at you know a lot of your big chain auto parts stores they make them for cars and uh, you know you can get them in white and you can go on eBay and uh, get some LED lights and uh, you know look for the warm white these are not the warm white the ones above the bar are, and uh, that's something that's fairly new to LEDs, and uh, it's a great source of light that uses almost nothing. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time. Maybe I'll do some more cooking stuff. See ya.